now that we've actually looked at some of the algebraic proof methods, we've looked at the properties uh, we use for algebra problems, and we've also looked at taking some of those properties into the geometry arena. Uh, let's look at some very particular cases of proving segment relationships. There's a couple of postulates we need to go over. First one is the Ruder postulate. I'm going to read it, and then we're going to demonstrate it. Ruder postulate is the points on any line or line segment can be paired with real numbers so that given any two points, A and B, on a line, A corresponds to zero and B corresponds to a positive real number. What in the world is that saying? That's basically saying that on a line segment, we can pair or we can put together with the letters and the points on that line segment, we can put real numbers up there that would correspond to a length. For instance, on this particular one, what I've done is I have come over here on A, I've set up numbers such that A corresponds to zero. And then on every 12 inches, I've marked that until we come over here to where B is basically 42 inches away from A. Now, could I have used a different scale? Of course. Could have used miles. It would have been a little weird and strange and rough to do that here in this classroom. I could have used millimeters. Again, for such a long length of line segment, it would have been a little rough. Could I have used yards? Yes. Could I have used feet? Yes. Could use any scale I want to. Arbitrary. Okay, basically, ruler positive says with any line segment, we can put together real numbers so that we can determine what the length of that line is. Okay? That's the ruler positive. The other postulate we need to look at is the segment addition postulate. The segment addition postulate we've already talked about uh, some time ago in chapter 1. Basically it states if point A, B, and C are collinear and B is between A and C, then the measurement of segment AB plus the measurement of segment BC equals the measure of segment AC. And the converse of that, if the measurement of segment AB plus the measurement of segment BC equals the measurement of segment AC, then B is between A and C. Okay? It's also the definition of betweenness. And here's a picture of it. You have segment AC with B between. Segment AB, okay, plus segment BC equals segment AC. This is known as a segment addition postulate. Now, a couple of things that can go with that is if we have AB plus BC equals AC, then through algebra and arithmetic, because these represent real numbers, Okay, then we can also do algebra with this. Have equations that look like this. AC minus AB equals what? BC. And AC minus BC equals AB. All we're doing is rearranging these through the uh, subtraction and substitution properties of algebra that we've brought over to geometry. This is a segment addition postulate, also known as SAP. We will refer to it a great deal this year in geometry.